Hi students, this is your professor Wanda Sabir checking in at the beginning of our semester. Today's January 23rd and yes, the course has not been open officially, but um, I'm out here on my bike at the beach. Well, not really the beach. I went to the post office and then I stopped off at the beach uh, to get some vitamin D and to say hey and introduce myself to you. Um, I sent you a letter. I hope it wasn't, it didn't lose too much of its formatting last night to let you know um, that the course is going to be open today, uh, but I did, couldn't give you a definite time and to let you know about that huge tome uh, called the textbook, which uh, you shouldn't have to purchase anything else because it has complete plays. It's got a wonderful treasure trove of short stories as well as a lot of wonderful poetry, contemporary poets, as well as classical or classic poets. Um, and uh, and you have a choice as to whether or not you want to read a novel. You can choose the novel with approval, of course, or you can just read short stories. And at the end of the course, uh, for your research paper, you're going to um, write about um, or do a survey of a particular author of your choosing. The person can be alive or deceased and you'll do a survey of their work. They might be a, a writer that writes in all the genres or they might be a writer that is exclusively a poet or a playwright. So anyway, it's your choice. Um, I uh, typically get out um, you know, daily and, and go for a ride or a walk uh, here in Alameda. I'm gonna show you uh, the view here um, as soon as this guy finishes. You can see the birds flying away. Yeah, he kind of disturbed them. It's like, and there's San Francisco in the distance. And an older guy out there getting his exercise, which is wonderful because you, you don't use it, you lose it, so to speak. Um, I mentioned in the letter a few things about myself that I am a professional writer, and uh, and I just wanted to let you know that I love theater, and that's just uh, being able to um, see because. Um, I'm immune compromised, so I can't do indoor uh, events with strangers. So I haven't been able to go to plays, even though things have opened up. Um, but I am able to to see the recorded plays, um, um, you know, the virtual versions. But it's not quite the same thing. So anyway, um, what else? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure. It's like ah, too much information or not. Yeah, this, uh, this particular class, um, English 1B, I haven't taught in a while, and so um, definitely wanted to be one that we that you feel um, uh, welcome to contribute to with, with regards to which poems and which stories you might really want to read from our textbook because, like I said, there's some really wonderful ones there. And I've divided the, the months into um, themes, so... Um, and also, I thought something new, we could actually have um, a few songs of the month. I like soundtracks. I have a soundtrack for my year, like I had a soundtrack for 2022. I have a soundtrack for um, for 20, I have a, well, is it 20? No, I don't have, I have some songs for 2023, but I don't have my whole soundtrack yet. The soundtrack comes at the end of the year when everything has, you know, been published and, um, but, uh, but this is a big year for me. This is the year that I am retiring. Um, so you are the lucky class that I will always remember because <laughs> you are the class that I taught my last semester. So I'm looking forward to everyone getting a passing grade. It would be so wonderful for all of you who start to finish. So let's make that a goal, you know, that you're gonna do what you need to do so that you can pass this class. Um, which means you need to write <laughs> essays that are well-structured, um, minimal uh, errors in grammar and syntax, and, you know, they have a clear point or clear argument, and you support it with, with evidence, you know, from the work that you are referencing, you know, the poem, the play, the novel, the short story, uh, as well as other research that you have um, uh gleaned from from your story from your from your um from your from your research because each essay is going to have to have citations that's what makes it scholarly 
So each essay needs to have minimally three, um, three uh, resources, um, three, three, uh, three documents that you research uh, around, like they could be essays about the, the author and the piece that you're referencing. They could be books, excerpts, they could be uh, broadcasts, interviews with um, scholars about the work. And then for your research essay, um, you're gonna have to have more um, more documents that you have um, in your bibliography. You don't have to cite them all. The research essay will be, hmm, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, about seven to ten pages. And I don't know, you probably have already written a long piece like that when you took freshman comp. Or maybe your, your high school um, project, because I know some of you all might be coming to us from high school. Uh, welcome. Some of you all might already be, still be in high school. Welcome to you too. And some of you all might be returning. Uh, this might be an enrichment course. So I hope you enjoy the work. And, uh, and I hope you get out and get to see some plays and go to some poetry readings during National Poetry Month in April. And if you do any of those things, you know, do anything literary or connected to um, the literary, literary arts and you write something about it, um, something short, like, a, you know, one, two pages, um, or, or just prove that you went. <laughs> uh, you can even um, videotape something like I'm doing right here. You just tell us all about it. You can, you know, you know, show us the theater, you know, show us the program and, and you get credit. So I just wanted to let you know that because it's really wonderful to get out. And when I'm um, earlier in my career, I've been teaching 25 years uh, in the community college district um, here. Um, because this is the first district I applied to when I got my master's from the University of San Francisco in writing. Um, we used to go on field trips. We would go to plays and I would have playwrights come into the, to the uh, classroom and we would have directors of, the, of theaters come into the classroom and we had playwriting workshops and famous poets would come in and talk to us. Like the poet laureate for San Francisco now, um, Tongo uh, Eisen Martin came and presented and Charles uh, Blackwell, who has a film about himself, he's a blind poet who was also a visual artist. He paints and draws. He came and made a presentation and Javelin Richards, who lives in Hawaii now, phenomenal playwright. She came in and made presentations and um, uh, uh, the uh, director and founder of uh, the Oakland uh, Theater Project uh, he came in and talked about one of their plays. We used to actually read their plays and then go see them because <laughs> they're, they're here in Oakland. And uh, yeah, it's just, we sometimes, you know, we would get on BART and go to San Francisco to the theater. We ride the BART to Berkeley to the theater. We've done things at the uh, Berkeley Art Museum, Pacific Film Archive, going to films. Oh, you know, I love film. So my, my, my loves of performance art in the order that I love them. <laughs> uh, are I love theater, and uh, and then um, and and I love poetry. Actually, I, I host a poetry reading every month. This be our, it's online now, but I think this will be our thirty third um, thirty third one. We used to host it at the Oakland, um, uh, the West Oakland Library in Oakland, but um, for the past three years, this year included, um, it's going to be online. Um, it's going to be this year. It's going to be the last Saturday of the month and it's a free event. Let me know if you're interested. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, just sitting out here getting some vitamin D and then I'm going to head back home and, and try to finish up that syllabus <laughs> and, um, and, and get some of those modules done. And uh, yeah, I had all my work um, from, I can think about 15 years um, was lost um, when, when the district shifted from Moodle to Canvas, um, my work didn't didn't transfer over, so I'm having to recreate everything um, from scratch. And I could just think about all the assignments you would love that I no longer have um, the materials for because some of them, the copyright expired or the website is no longer present, no longer uh, active. So, but we're gonna we're gonna have a good time this semester, and uh, yeah, I look forward to meeting all of you all. Um, you know, our various uh, rooms uh, within Canvas. And if you have any questions, you can always get in touch with me. Um, the email address in Canvas is great until the class ends and then 
um, you can email me, but I can't respond. Um, everything shuts down. And this semester is over. Uh, I'm, I'm extending it. Uh, it'll be over June 3rd. I think that's what I put in the, uh, you know, when it opens. But the classes are over way before then. Um, we have Malcolm X holiday, which is that Friday around the 19th. And, uh, and then we have a graduation <laughs> and I, I don't know I don't know if any of you all are finishing up maybe you are if you are um, you know I hope uh, you know the next go around for your um, uh, your continuing education is wonderful so yeah so I'm gonna sign out because I don't know how long this is but I have a tendency of going on and on and on and on but I'm not gonna go on and on so I'm gonna let you look at the uh, uh, the wonderful beach for a moment and then I'm gonna say I'll see you <laughs> I'll see you in